Falcon Stadium, built in 1962, the site for this college football contest. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Number Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. And down he goes at the 29. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down at the 30. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. The thing is, once he gets going, he's really tough to stop. It's almost all physical momentum. Right there, it carried him to a solid game. And he hits him hard at the 42. No game. That makes it second and 10. Number six. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. He zips it. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 42-yard line, first down. Nice run up the middle. And down he goes to 39 yard line. Loss of three on the play. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. So they're going to go for it here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. And the goal line defense digging in here. And they make the stop around the 33 yard line. And they'll fail on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. On a bounds, at 
around the 48-yard line. That's good. It's second and five here. Ball on the 48-yard line. hit immediately. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good hard running for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Very good tackle in space. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 28. So the pass is complete for an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Goes quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Gets it out in a hurry. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull fast. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. it to the outside and this one falls incomplete the ball just sailed on him and he knows it he'll get it next time out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he adds the extra point. A 10 play, 72 yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Taken from the three yard line. Tackle made at the 27. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackles the 36 yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Going deep. Almost intercepted. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Minnesota's lead is a touchdown.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Minnesota is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Pitches it, and they push him out around the 37-yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Check back, check back, back six, back six. Play two. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. That's a gain of 14 yards on the way. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. And two. Crash, 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 crash. He's taken down at the 44. Second and nine. Ball on the 44. Brought down at about the 29 yard line. Ball to gain 15 yards. First down. Minnesota is up a score. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down at the 20. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Gets to about the 17-yard line. And the halfback gets the first down. Nothing too fancy, just a draw play here. They get the first down, and they keep the chains moving. This is the ninth play of this drive. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19. The 10, and he's level at the eight-yard line. So at the end of three, the Golden Gophers in front, 7-0. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Oh, 
Here's an opening. Big play, and it's first and goal. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. Heading for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. Both sides have made their way back out and we're just about set to get going again. Spikes the ball. It's third and 15. Ball on the 23 yard line. Mike one, Mike one. Ready. On the throw, incomplete pass. He wants it all. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. From the 26-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. Golden Gophers get the victory. 14-0. Air Force, nothing. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.